beginning of ancient times, our ancestors has referred to numbers as some type of baseline code for humanity. Today, it's referred to as numerology. But what exactly does that mean? Numerology just means the study of numbers. Where did the concept of numerology come from? That it came out of Egypt or India or China. We often have questions like, is there any significance to the day we were born or even the exact time of our birth? Every one of us in human history has been connected to numbers from the time we were born until the time we transitioned. How about do you have a lucky number? I know I thought my lucky number was seven until I realized I had a life path number of three. So everyone has a power number or what I call the most favorable numbers to work with in their life and throughout their life. And you're going to love this one. Numbers actually can be a guide to our life. I always tell my clients that numbers are like a GPS. You put in the right address, which could be your name and your birthday, and it helps to triangulate. Oftentimes people see the same number over and over. Why don't you stick around to the end and see why you are seeing those same numbers and they may be something good. As a bonus, we're also going to talk about angel numbers, which I also dub as angle numbers. So tonight we have my guy, King Simon, the numerologist. He's going to go through some answers as we go through a countdown and you're going to get some knowledge on each and every one of these numbers. One thing we're going to do in this particular share of energy is going to break down the inner workings of the numbers and how you can apply them on your highest and wisest level. So it would be appropriate for me to start this live stream with a countdown. Three, two, one. Because what you're about to hear tonight, you may not believe it. All right, I want to welcome everyone here to the live stream tonight on Forbidden Knowledge TV. Yes, and as sir. always, we are got some great things for you. I got my man, well, over here to this side, yes, King sir. Simon. And uh, man, I think we got a great show for them here tonight, especially yes, doing this countdown and everything else. And I know you're going to give us what you got. You're under the weather a little bit, but that's yes. the strength, the power that yep. you have and yes. you said hey you know what the show must go on so i just want people to exactly. know how exactly. special this moment is but before we get going uh once again uh you all could have been anywhere other else tonight but you chose to be right here right now with that being said we're going to serve you uh, we're going to serve you with information that i think that will help you uh in many ways uh but the first thing we're going to crack some of these codes and uh, of course i'm your host roderick martin and mm -hmm. again this is King Simon over here, yes. and uh, you can find him in, in in the description of the video. You can find all of his links, uh, yes. a lot of things that we'll be talking about here at the end of the show from there. So then we're going to hop right into it, because I think that one of the things to really talk about is this ancient part of where these numerology come into play. So if you can, let's give us a little history. But first of all, let's give your background. How did you get where you are today. So take us back to the moment when you first discovered about numerology. Uh, well, I recognize that along with my grandmother. My grandmother used to love to send birthday cards to everybody. So I realized that people's birthday are very significant. Uh, you know, you might not remember a name, but you if you remember their birthday, they kind of, they, they, they happy. And the name is like an extra bonus. So my grandmother used to have myself and my sister and my cousins deliver mails to different people at, uh, that needed to, that had a birthday or some type of celebration, or she'll have us go to the mailbox when we was younger and drop the mail in the chute and it'll always get there on time. She was born under that master mm. number 22. My grandmother, was, right. she was a master number, but along that route, I went into what we call the 5% nation where they also have a certain form of numbers and numerology also called mathematics, which came out of the honorable Elijah Muhammad's teachings at that time. And then from there, I went into a community called the Ansar Law Community, where he taught numerology from the Arab perspective, the Abjab, when I converted to Islam. So I understood that and I learned Kabbalah to a certain extent. And then when I left that community in 88, I was I was right around my birthday. One of my teachers, Lloyd Strayhorn, one of my teachers, Lloyd Strayhorn, he was on WLIB, WBLS in New York. And I called in on my birthday and I've got in and he 
broke my name down and, and birthday down like a book. And mm. from there, I crossed over the path and I've been on it ever since nonstop in 89, 1989, 1989. Yes, I've been doing mm. it for a while, you know, since I was 14, actually getting into it since I was 14. And of course, my grandmother, as I was a child, I used to understand why people love their birthdays like that, you know, and, right, and plus right, we, used right. have, we used to have birthday parties also. So that was always a good celebration, you know what I'm saying? So that's where I got it from. Yeah. Man, let me tell you, I, I think, again, we all uh, look at those birthdays as that special date, not really knowing how significant those mm-hmm. times and dates and all that could play in our lives. Uh, mm-hmm. Would you would you kind of say that once you learn numerology and your life path, which we will discuss later on in the show, that you are actually on that path? Sometimes people get off of that path or some people naturally get on the path, sometimes due to trauma. Uh, due to past hurts from their family or what have you, some people get off that path. And what I've learned over the years, why people come as clients to do a session with me is sometimes to find their way or find that mm. that that GPS guiding system, that, uh, that, 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 that guiding system to take them where they got to go. Where I tell people all the time, numerology, astrology, and all that stuff is not an is all or be all, but it's like something that can reminds you so you can recall what you need to do. Remember, because a lot of us came through our mother's womb and our father's scrotum and we forgot everything. We forgot coming through. That's why we don't know. You know, you would never know at a young age, you born at a certain number, you're going to be doing something like this and be successful at it. And your numbers are connected to it when I look at your numbers, which is interesting along the route. So it's like, like I said, it's like a, a, a guy, a, a GPS, which was invented by a black woman named Gladys May um, uh, West, who was born October 26, 1930. And even her numbers correlate with her being in technology and also making money from technology and all that, especially her, the year that she's born and all that kind of stuff, because it connects to what we call the technological numbers, you know, uh, of the four and the, and the master number 22, those are technological numbers, the four, four. So a lot of people, when they come to me, I tell them, look, you know, I'm not rushing you because everybody, Roderick is like, they, they've been under a microwave. They think everything mm-hmm. quick, 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 when, when in order for you to make it to yourself and be your best self, they have to be work. Like Dr. B series would say, you have to play in your work. You have to enjoy what you do. So if you enjoy what you do, like Les Brown would say, you'll never work a day in your life. So I always implore that people use the numbers as a guidance to some of the the paths that they need to take because there's a multitude of numbers. It's not just your life path. It's the day you're born, it's the month you're born, it's the names and the numbers in your name. All of that is, is significant that can open your eyes to where you need to go and how you need to move. Man, that's exciting. So what we're going to do for the audience, for all of you watching today, I thought it'd be a great idea for us to do. uh, We're talking about numbers. So why not do a countdown? So we're going to start with the number nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. And I'll have, you know, King Simon to kind of give us this this background or significance of each uh, as we do this countdown. And I think that'll lead us down. And if you hear uh, watching this, you know, stay to the end because we're going to have some bonus stuff. We're going to talk about some angel numbers mm-hmm. as well that I have a few that I'll present. So having that, I think we can get ready to get started with our countdown. And mm-hmm. I'm going to start with the number nine. We're going to talk about the number nine. And number nine is that number of wisdom and completion. And of course, we talk about nine lives as a cat, nine worlds in the right. North mythology, nine right. represent the full circle before the uh the starting a new or whatever right. uh, yeah a new beginning and all right. that so kind of take us down that deep essence of a nine well from my from a numerovational perspective the number nine is not only a a, a well respected number especially amongst the ancient ancient melanated people the Chaldeans they purposely didn't have the nine in their system if in their numbers chart like Pythagorean did because you got to remember, Pythagoras went and studied amongst these different people and still became the father of numbers. And he brought and revealed the nine when because the Chaldeans deal with symbolism and they, they respected the nine. Because when you deal with nine, you can add it to any number and it always reflects itself. You can multiply it with any number and it always reflects itself. It's one of those special numbers. 
That's why when nine showed up, according to the Chaldean system, it's either higher levels of love or higher or, or destruction. It's two levels. There's everything is duality. So you got to be very mindful that when nines show up, I always tell people that have a lot of nines in their chart, be careful of getting into any arguments, any contention. Always take the higher road because nine is the single digit. That's the highest number on the number chart. So it's reminding you to take a higher road. It's known as a fire number also, but because of the flow line of the number, the curves of the number, it's known as a masculine number in certain systems. But in the flow line existence of the number nine, that's known as a feminine number. So it has the masculine and the feminine duality with the number nine, depending on what system you're going down and what system you're studying. But nine is not one of those numbers I tell people to play with, you know, because it's a vibration that if you're not maintaining a humanitarian and a very good mindset of service, then it could go down the other road where it can be destructive. You can get into arguments, you can get into car accidents, all of that kind of stuff when you have a lot of nines. You know, and and you don't want to become reckless with that nine. So nine is a very powerful number throughout history. But like I said, going back to the Chaldeans, you got to remember they respected the nine. These were melanated people that respected the nine and understood when that nine. It's not like it, they never acknowledge it because you have one and eight in their chart. So one plus eight equals nine. So when nine show up, they're looking at it, looking at looking at it from another perspective, more dealing with symbology and the symbols and what you need to do and what you need to accomplish, how you need to move when nine and nine is the number of endings. So usually in that cycle, there's a lot of endings of life at that cycle. There's a lot of endings of jobs. People are transitioning and detoxing from one level to the next level, making sure they're prepared for the number one cycle, which the number one cycle deals with the new beginnings and all of that. So it's very important that anytime nine comes up, you have to Always recognize the importance of assets and liabilities and get rid of the liabilities around you if they're not serving your wisest and greatest level. And, and with a little humor, the ninth ward in Houston is very serious. Place. It's very serious, yes. Very there, was a, serious. there was destruction there. It's a number of destruction. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if, right. if, if, if they didn't prepare themselves. Absolutely. I'm sure they knew about it. They had to know. They studied that, that area. Some, yeah. Something sounds fishy. <laughs> All right. So we're going to move to the greatness of number eight, which is the number of infinity. Mm -hmm. uh, when it's on its side, it has no beginning, no end. It symbolizes cycles uh, and continuance when it comes down to this. So let's go into the deepness of that eight. People got to remember that eight resembles the infinity symbol, but it is not the infinity symbol in mathematics. Okay. Oh, well, really? Okay. Not the infinity symbol. Not the, the number eight is not the infinity symbol. The eight is its own standing symbol. And because it looks like it, people refer to it as an infinity symbol. But the, the scientist, I forgot his name, did not put it there as the number eight as its infinity. It was to denote the infinite possibilities of the numbers and their cycles. That's what the number eight is about. It's not about uh, I mean, the number, the, the infinity symbol. Look at the infinity symbol. And they'll tell you, if you Google it up, infinity symbol is not the eight. It became the eight in the spiritual concept, in the metaphysical concept, because it looks mm -hmm. like the eight. When the eight in actuality is actually two zeros on top of each other, one going counterclockwise, one going clockwise. That's why it's known mm -hmm. as the build and destroy number. It's known as the, it's known as the number of power manifestation, money, but it's also one of the old soul energies that people are born on the 8th or the 17th or the 26th of the month are old souls or deal with old soul realities or find themselves gravitating to older people where you might deal with younger people when you're young, but as you're getting older, older people start coming or vice versa. So 8 is always that number of everything is in your hands. Now, if you want to call it the infinity symbol, it's cool because that's where your mind is going. That's why I always tell people, look at things from a holistic perspective. So if your spirit says infinity symbol, then include it. And I do it sometimes, but I always have to clear, be clear about it that this, the mathematician that came up with it was not referring to the number eight. It was a symbol to reflect the infinity of numbers. That is a counting wow. that you keep on counting and counting and counting and counting and counting. And sometimes the eight is extended and elongated. I mean, the, uh, the, the infinity symbol is elongated to a point that don't even look like an eight. It just looks like a elongated symbol. 
so we got to we got to I just want to be truthful and honest as the studying and recognizing that uh, that's not the real consensus of, of, amongst mathematicians. You mm. know, it's not the real consensus. There's debates on a lot of that stuff, a lot of the zero and all that. We'll get into that also. But, um, you know, but it has become a symbol of infinity for spiritual development and spiritual recognition. And you can wow. use it for whatever person think it. That's what they are. It's all right. You can think and feel and use it for whatever purpose you want, as long as it's helping you. If it's not helping you and you're just saying, oh, eight is the infinity number. That's just, you're just talking now when that's you all. need to understand how and why the eight is what it is. Because you're getting perspectives. And I'm not saying that the perspectives are wrong. They just have to understand there is a history behind the infinity number. And the number eight was here before the infinity number. People are not thinking about that, the infinity symbol. Wow. People are not that's thinking pretty, about that. Yeah, that's really interesting. Um, and I know we'll get deep into a lot of this stuff. Okay, so we're going to continue our countdown, and we're going to go into the greatness of the seeker's number, which is number seven. Mm -hmm. uh, and we talk about this with the seven chakras or mm -hmm. seven notes in the musical scale or uh, the seven that contains the quest uh, for what we call understanding a life. And so seven is really, it's always been everybody's lucky number, right? And, and of course, now that I know my life path number is three, but the whole point is lucky seven. So talk about that number. Well, what you have to remember about the number seven is that a lot of people in the religious world choose the number seven because that's the day God rested according to mm -hmm. biblical philosophy. Then, of course, you have the seven wonders of the world and all these different things. Everything is seven because seven became a lucky number over time. But in certain systems, seven can be a very, uh, a, a number of misery if you don't know how to direct the seven to wow. its highest level because it is a number of law of attraction but the law of attraction can go both ways you can attract the law of negative attraction you could have positive attraction with the seven because seven is the 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 what we call the the deep seeking number it's the seeker number it's the spiritual seeking the mindful philosopher but if if the person carrying the number seven don't use it appropriately it can be very detrimental to that person to a point that is called uh, that it can lead to mental problems. My grandmother, who was born on the seventh, had to be checked into a mental facility after I studied her numbers. And uh, friends of mine that are born under the number seven check themselves into mental facilities because sometimes people born on the seven holds on to things a little bit deeper. And there's certain numbers in my book, Numerovation for Mental Stability, that I talk about are the mental health numbers. And it's, it's about you being motivated and and, and, and learning how to use the seven as one of the motivational factors, because eight is also one of the mental health numbers also. But seven is uh, like the seven heavens in the Quran or the seven hells, showing you that there's a duality. There's seven mm -hmm. heavens and seven hells. So if you're not understanding the levels and how to use this, you can go through hell and never make it to heaven because you didn't understand how to balance yourself and use the frequency of the seven to move forward. And the interpretation, because it's really about interpretation. Remember, numbers is not subjective, it's objective. Let me say that again for the people in the back of this universe. Objective. All it's right. objective, not subjective. It's not subjecting you to be this and be that. At the end of the day, you have two lies or you have multiplicity of ways you can go, especially if you went through any type of trauma and hurt and pain. Don't mean that you're going to become this guru, which is seven is known as a guru number. Don't mean that you're going to be this deep philosopher. People born on the seventh can be secret agent. That is no, one of the secret agent numbers. Thus, we all learned about 007, mm. James Bond. The guy Ian Fleming, his name add up to a number seven. He's the one that created James Bond. The, uh, tell me, let, let me ask you a question real quick, Rod. What was the most famous number uh, James Bond in history? 007. What was his name, the actor? Uh, Sean Connery, or the, yeah, but you yeah. said it right, Sean Connery. Yeah. You said the first name. You know he's born on August twenty fifth. <laughs> Two plus mm. five is seven. So the patterns fall to the point that they fired him and had to bring him back because of the lack because of, of because of his magnitude, his law of attraction. Continuity of the show with him being there. Wow, right, exactly. 
Okay, you can look that up. It's in it's in the history books. They fired him. <laughs> so Man, seven, is a, see, seven is a deep number that I always suggest to my clients that are born on the seventh, the sixteenth, or the twenty sixth of the month, the twenty fifth of the month. They have to they have to really go into their meditation, go within themselves, and be willing to bring out the best of themselves. Don't meditate in negative environments. Don't allow people's negative energy to pull you down. I people I tell people born on that seven, don't watch the news. Be very careful and choosy mm. of what, what you watch. Wow. Very important, you know. Now, how, how does the seventh play with our seven shockers and co- or chakras? I'm sorry. And then we're, we're, we, even in music, you know, there's right. the seven musical notes. And then, That's of course, right. we have the seven is the quest for knowledge, right? Right. right. And uh, the combination of those notes create multiple things. Again, okay. it's all about doing the all research right. and digging. Now they say seven chakras, and then in the certain system they say nine or more chakras. Okay, you gotta All be, right. you know, you gotta know what, what what's your what's 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 your what's your, your what's your what's your sunlight and what's your darkness. That's up to you. At the mm. end of the day, that's why I tell people all the time: do what works for you. If the seven chakras represent in the highest level of the chakra system going up to that purple okay. level, then you use. I got it in the back of me. I got that all in the back of me too to understand that. But it, you, when you go dig deep into the meaning of the number seven, I see why they put it at the top of the chakra system in India, because that's an Indian philosophy. Mm. Remember that. That's a philosophy from India. And there's nothing wrong with the philosophy because it, a lot of things was discovered with numbers in India. That's why they got Vedic numerology, which I have books on that. Good books on Vedic numerology where they can, they can, they connect astrology with numbers so you can get a full picture. When you're dealing with them and every astrology sign is connected to a number also especially when you're dealing with vedic and you know the vedic numerologists don't like to use they don't like to use the fullness of the year so they'll they'll do your break day so let's say you're born march 10th then they'll just put 2023 instead of putting tw- they'll just put 23 instead of putting 2023 because mm. they believe that we're already in the energy of the 20s or the 2000s, why should I put that? But it does give a good meaning, and sometimes I use it def- def- definitely when I want to uh, get a bigger picture of what the count, the consultant or the person that I'm consulting at that time. So seven has a magnitude of uses, but again, every number has their duality, have their ups and their downs and their complacency where you can be comfortable. Seven is a number that, of people that can be lazy also. Mm, okay. Because they don't want to do and they're so they want to stay away from the crowd. They want to be to themselves. They want to be a hermit. Nothing in history is by themselves. Nothing in natural history is by itself. Even your body, all of the organs work in, in unison for the body. So people that want to be hermit, that's their own mental stuff that they're going through. And right. I, w- I would always suggest get therapy, learn how to socialize. My daughter, she has a life path number seven and her communication skills is messed up <laughs> you know what i'm saying sometimes yeah. they, they, they 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 keep their mouth shut and i remember her uh my daughter uh she won't speak up she always spoke really yeah you know dad is i'm like why are you speaking low who's who's stagnating your chakra who's stagnating your chakra the mm. throat chakra because after the throat chakra then you re- you rise to the next chakra and then the next the higher chakra. So if you're stagnating your throat, throat chakra and she's been stagnant, I found out that it could be her mom or could be one of her family members. You know what I'm saying? So that's where I look into things so we can find a deeper meaning and so we can help you at least stay motivated. Stay motivated. And you have a program that will help people with that if they personally do some of your programs, right? Well, yeah, I, have, I do have classes and I also have workshop. I have eight hour class. I have a four hour class and I do do uh, consultations. And if I see in your numbers that you might need a Kashic record reading or you might need to go to an astrologer, then I'll then I'll break it down because not one thing is the is all or be all. Use it all. Yeah. Whatever's going to make you better. That's how I am. Make whatever makes you better. So even if you're in a Christian religion, whatever makes you a better Christian I will promote you and show you how your numbers can work for you to be a better Christian, a better Muslim, a better Hebrew, whatever wow. you are, because all of them have esoteric meanings and esoteric science behind it. That is amazing, you know, especially for us to go through all that. Now, if you're just joining us, we are live and uh, we're doing a countdown. So we're getting ready to get into the next number. But, hey, be sure to go back and watch this video so you can go from nine, eight, uh, that you've already missed some great stuff. and. Pretty much. So we're going to get into uh, the number six, which 
from my understanding, is the number of equilibrium. It's, it's mm -hmm. six with six directions in space and hexagrams right. Right. Uh, right. with the uh, the venatory systems. And of course, at this point, most people will try to say six it brings like stability a mist of change. Um, mm -hmm. So, um, if right. if I am correct with that, how mm -hmm. deep am I missing? How deep can we go with the number six? No, you because we know the bad number six six six, but we're not going to talk about that until we get the angel numbers. Yeah, it yeah. may not be bad, right? But They're anyway, not the They're number not bad. The not six. bad. That that is a belief. Gotcha. <laughs> that is bad. That's a belief, and it comes from the religious belief. Because when, right. when you look at six six six, it says it's the number of man and beast. It's giving gotcha. you duality. God and dog is the same word. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to talk about the angel in the bonus section then. Exactly. All right. So it's all, all right. about. So six is one of the, the numbers of balance, harmony, truth, justice, reciprocity. It's like ma'at from the ma'atic balance from the 42 laws of ma'at, thus 42 laws equals six. Interesting. So the number six is also the number of love, concern, humanitarian, serving a, big, a bigger purpose in what you do. More people that's born on the number six, the 15th or the 24th of the month are very loving people, but they attract people that need help and healing a lot. So they got to be very careful who they allow in this space from a numerovational perspective, because my job is to motivate you so you can activate your numbers and recognize what you need to do. All that you said was right and exact, but I try to keep it simple so we can keep it moving and deal with the clients direct because all that deep, all the deep stuff is good. But what does it do to help you? Mm. The, the, the creator, the creator created things in six days, according to the Bible. It took six days to make this creation. Yes, six is one of the creation number. It's also a pregnancy number in numerology. The number six is a pregnancy number, but all the even numbers, two, four, six, eight, are pregnancy numbers, where you could be pregnant Ooh. with ideals or pregnant with a child. <laughs> when those things come up, some people don't want the child, so they definitely want the idea. <laughs> and and the six the sixth root of the number six is compassion, loving, responsibility. But the negative of the number six person could be very hard headed, you know, very cynical about certain things, jealous about certain things. You know what I'm saying? So you know, is and and usually six is one of those magnetic numbers that attract feminine and attract the masculine energy. That's why people born on the sense six, you'll notice usually have a lot of women around them or are connected to a lot of women. Bob Marley was born on the six. Lenny Williams was born on the six. You know, people like that. Nipsey, Nipsey Hussle was born on the 15th, August 15th. Nipsey Russell was born September 15th. They was all connected to women in some capacity. And you always got to recognize because they are a magnet for sensuality and sexuality. The word six can be sex also, depending on the amount of zeros behind the number. Sextillion. Mm. So that word is in the vowels are interchangeable now, but most of the number six or fives or the six are very sexy and beautiful people and beautiful women and beautiful men. Most of the time, if you Google up, like Natalie Cole was born under the number six. You understand? Very beautiful sister. Um, uh, uh, what's the name? Uh, the one who took her life. Uh, Phyllis Hyman was born on the six. She was born July. Okay. Very beautiful people. But why did she take a life? Oh, we're gonna get to that because. Her alignment number is a number four, a mental health number. When you add the July, the seven plus the six adds up to 13, which is a four. And that's one of the mental health numbers where she was old, overthinking about certain things in her head. And she decided to take her life. Wow. It gets deeper. That's why, that's why I tell people I do numerovation because, and, and my book is called Numerovation for Mental Stability. Because it's about maintaining mental stability in a real crazy time that we're in. That's why I wrote this book in 2020 and two plus zero plus two plus zero equals four. And that's one of the mental health numbers. We ain't get there yet, but I'm trying to say Ooh. that six is there for balance. Anytime six shows up in your chart, whether it's your personal month, your personal day, your personal year, everybody goes through all these numbers on a daily basis. A daily with a D. All right. Then. <laughs> All right. Before we continue our countdown, we got a message here uh, from the team itself. So let me play this and we will get down to our countdown of number five next. Forbidden knowledge. Television. Um, this is 
logged in on November 25th, 2023, Eastern Standard Time. Um, sensitive material has been breached and it is now in front of the public. This is very sensitive documentation and the world will be in total chaos if leaked and it is now leaked. All of it. Not one document, all of it. Place of exploitation, forbidden knowledge, television. This must be stopped. Wow. All right, man. Forbidden yeah, knowledge, television. That was all very right. good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, anyway, if you just join us, I'm here with King Simon. Uh, and you know, if you want to get a little more information, he has a link tree link in the video description. You'll be able to go there and you can yeah. find your way to everything that oh, he does. Book. And if you, yeah, a lot of books, yeah. uh, just make contact, all this stuff. If you want to either get some personalization, uh, in your quest for the truth in your number, he'll be right. able to, uh, help you with that. And, and again, my name is Roderick Martin and we're here doing a countdown. So we're getting ready to get to number five. And if you miss Six. Oh my God. You missed some stuff about that lucky seven. Yes. Then we can go back up to that crazy eight mm, possibility. <laughs> uh, and then we're going to go to that greatness of number nine. Make That's sure you go back and replay this video because you don't want to miss none of this stuff. And uh, if okay. you're here right now, we got over 500 people in here right now Ooh, watching us well, live. So y'all make sure y'all hit that like, like button, button right now. Go down and hit the like button. Uh, let's get these likes up, uh, especially if you're getting value from what you're hearing tonight. Uh, it's free. Hit that like button and and do that as well for us. And so with that being said, then we're going to get into the greatness and continue our countdown all the way down to zero. And then we'll get down to those angel numbers, which, man, I'm, I can't wait to, to get into those things. Number five, um, which is the number of the physical body and favor, which has been said. We have five fingers. We got five toes. Uh, you're talking about the uh, Pentagon itself is five right. star, you know, all of this stuff. And mm -hmm. so I think once we start thinking about the number five, uh, it is seem to be some divine sequence, uh, of there. So what do you think? Let's go into five. that five. It was interesting about the number five and six from another perspective. Remember those two numbers are the number of the body. Mm. Five is they consider that a female energy a female number because of the head arm arm leg leg and they have a womb it's not like there's a penis there but the six deals with the man because it has all the the penis also including that that represents in certain systems uh, you know so you can end up again that's a belief that's a belief uh and i want to be respectful to the audience and always show that people are usually going by their beliefs but the five according to the patterns and the cycles and sequences that i've seen people that are connected to the five or the 14 or the 23rd of the month, they love their freedom. It's a creative energy. It's one of those original creative energy that needs to have a keen intellect. They're very brilliant people sometimes. And I remember one of my sons is born under number five and he's so versatile with so many things, writing music, doing his own instruments, playing and learning instruments because they need their freedom to be who they are and what they are. Freedom, uh, freedom. But I tell people freedom, freedom, freedom. Don't you know, freedom ain't always free. So you could try to do all what you want to do with your freedom energy, but you always got to still adhere to natural law of things because people born under that five frequency, they love travel. They love movement. And I always tell people that has a five in their life, let the five be themselves, because if you try to stagnate them and hold them down, it can become problematic where they become rebellious, hard headed and addictive because five is also the number of addiction. Five is one of the numbers of addiction next to the number nine. Nine is also a number of addiction on another level. But five is one of the primary numbers of addiction, sexual activity doing all type of sexual proclivities and craziness. They do that. They, you know, they can be straight to bisexual to trisexual. That's how fives can get down because of their freedom to do something and because they love their freedom to be. People like Usher is born under the 14, which is a five. <laughs> Quincy Jones was born under the number 14, which is a five. Little Richard is born on December 5th, which is a five. Uh, Walt Disney is born the fifth, 
which is a five. You know what I'm saying? And if you look at their lives, you'll see what's going on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You, wow. you, Einstein was born under the number five. That's why the five needs discipline. They need order. They can be what they want to be, but they still need disciplines to navigate better. So when I deal with a five energy, I always, you know, I look for the disciplinary numbers that's also in their chart because five might be, it's a very brilliant number of communication, writing, poetry, music, all of that stuff. It's, a part, it's all a part of that energy. But at the end of the day, if you're doing too much, they call it the jack of all trade, master of num number, but it's better than master in one. It is a jack of all trade number. They can do so many things, every five that I've known and the people that I've studied in history, that they, they was multi-talented on all levels. And you never want to stagnate the five energy in their talents. You want to make sure you harvest it and help them to guide it to be better at what they do. So since we're talking about single numbers, but mm -hmm. five and five is 10, then you got five times three is 15. Does right. the same method apply because they, they have five? To be it, does, it, it, does add, it adds dimension. Okay. So if five and five is 10, I'm still looking at the freedom number, but also because five adds up to the number 10, now I'm looking at the wheel of fortune and the creativity number, the direction that they need okay. to take. So five people having a five, 55 life, a life path or a 55 destiny number, then I would always tell them that I would give them the breakdown of the five because 55 is only the double representation of the five. It's all it is. It's, that's mm. what makes it so, so stronger master number. Like 22 is only a higher representation representation of the number two. That's why it's 22. And 11, that's only a higher representation of the number one. That's no. all. Okay. It's just uh, when you understand and when people look for that type of numbers and when those type of numbers come to me, I always give them levels to their stuff because master numbers are powerful numbers. And I always tell these people that have master numbers or have a lot of master numbers around them, with great power comes great responsibility. Always come great because these are powerful numbers with vibrations and frequencies behind them. You know, so the five is a power in, in 5% uh, uh, jargon. The five is called the power and refinement number. Power and Wait. refinement. It's, it's wow. a very powerful. Um, uh, five is a very powerful number. And especially when you start seeing it in 14s or 32s or 23s and you start seeing it in four, uh, uh, the number five ind individually. Yeah, you got to look at all of those, all of those numbers that pop up. If you start seeing double numbers, every number represents something before it reaches the five. And then if you see, oh. like you said, 55, then it adds up to that number 10. Now you're looking at another dimension. Now you're looking at it from a holistic perspective. Man, that is so freaking powerful. Okay, so with that countdown, y'all see the fives. And we're going to now get to the number four in this countdown. And I'm, I'm really interested in this because number four is the number of the foundation and practicality, right? From the four elements and you're talking about the four corners yeah. uh, of, a, of a table and right. you're talking about uh, it provides structure. And then we right. talk about forbidden knowledge for, for, forbidden you know, knowledge. for itself. And, um, and of course, Billy being born on the fourth. Oh, see, and I never knew he, that. He I never knew that. And okay. remember, it, every four years, they change as a president. Remember, the primary numbers were 13 stripes on the flag, which is a okay. four. You know, a, a, you know, it's all that's all in my book, too. I talk about all the different you fours know, and the 13. And I think I'm going to run for political office. And I think yeah. what I'm going to do is see if we can have a marriage license renewed every four years. And I think that'll change a lot because that's the only license in the world that has no renewal period. But mm. hey. Four is a foundational number. Why not? Every four years, you can look at your spouse and say, hey, we're in a renewal year. I'm not doing it. Oh, I know I'm going to get in trouble for that. Guys, there's just a little humor. Four, don't yeah. don't four vote for me for that. Four but anyway, let's get into number, number four. Let's go. But what's so funny, you know, in this society, they used to make, I don't know, I forgot, I forgot how to say the word for the fear of the number 13. But they made sure they made it a fear, but yet they was using this number 13 throughout history. It don't make no sense. <laughs> 13 stripes on the flag. Four is, uh, uh, they live in 1300 over there in Washington, D.C., all mm -hmm. of that. Or, or, you know, but so you got to pay attention to what they're doing and then trying to tell you about the number four. I don't call numbers lucky numbers. I call them power numbers or favorable numbers because every number has their duality. Because the number 13, which is a four. If you're not compassionate about what you do and you're not creative and being willing to expand and grow in what you do, 13 can wreak havoc, which 
four in my book is a mental health number. Mm. That's one of the primary mental health numbers that I've noticed in people that were born under the number four, like a Kerry Washington will talk about her mental issues. Beyonce born under that number four talked about her mental issues. You know what I'm saying? And 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 recognizing that these are mental numbers that people got to be very careful because if because four is that number of discipline and focus, I always tell people born on the fourth, the 13th, the 22nd, or the 31st of the month, you have to be willing to meditate on what you want to build and what you want to uh, develop in your life and then go to work because it is a hard working number. It's hmm. a very hard working number. And when fours are around you, they're very hard working people, so to speak. But again, it's a mental number that if they don't learn to control the vibration of number, they can go down that road that can be very problematic. Now, would you believe that the father of psychiatry is born under the number four? He's born. Uh, Benjamin Rush is born January 4th. But did you know that that same guy, Benjamin Rush, in order for him to offset any type of trauma with his patients, you know what he did? He tortured his patient. Hmm. I don't okay. torture people to get them off of mental trauma. That don't make sense. Right, right, right. So he was kind of mental in his head also. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So because the four represents a level of building and architecture and, and, and learning to reorganize yourself or organize yourself, number fours always need to have a certain amount of order. If they're out of order or if they're sloppy and crazy, that, that can be a problem with them. And number fours have to be very careful of who they allow in their mind. That's another number that I tell, do not watch the news. Leave the news. Let mm. Get the news second hand or third hand. Do not watch the news. Like your alignment number is a four because you're born 310. And when you add that up, you have to be very mindful. And I don't watch the news. I, I'm not much. You, yeah, know, you got to be very careful. Yeah. yeah. It's a research. It's a dig deep and research number. But it's also the number of legality. The number of it's also one of those numbers that have to make sure they dot all I's and cross every T in what they do and how they do things. They can't leave no stones unturned if they want to accomplish their goals. Wow, man, that is is interesting how all of these numbers, you know, and of course our ancestors figured that out a long time ago, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and, and who taught them? I, I don't know, but maybe just how things line up. So it's but, just you know, really according to what I've been studying, and I know there's more, people study patterns, cycles, and sequences. And if you start seeing a pattern, women probably doing with menstruation, going through that, that's a pattern of counting seeing the universe and you know remember they was able to count 26,000 year procession and 200 you know to find out what was the age that we're in so somebody is doing that counting on our ancestors we passed it down from generation to generation to the point that the romans got it justine gregorian all of them got it but they was always studying from what we did because it's already on the walls that we understood the clock we understood time and a lot of people like to say time is an illusion, but no, linear time might be an illusion, but not natural time because all of us are still growing and moving through time. We're not here on, a, on your live as a baby and eh, eh, we still ain't, we ain't stay there because there's always a process. And like Dr. Phil Valentine would say, time is an element. So when people say time is an illusion, they got it right on one level, but they got to look at the esoteric and also the deeper meaning of what time is that allows us to move through this dimension and grow up in this dimension and do what we do in this dimension. Because we're all grown people right now and we didn't stay as a, a fetus in the womb. We had to grow and evolve. That's a part of the movement through time, which is the element. Wow. That is just powerful as it can get all get out in uh Man, I really appreciate this. I really appreciate where we're going. And if you just joined us, once again, we're doing a countdown. Uh, mm -hmm. We're getting ready to go into the next number three as we work our way down to zero. And then we're going to talk about those angel numbers. And if you missed it, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, we haven't got the two and we haven't got the three. So you haven't missed it. But in the meantime, you can go back and watch this video. You should. You got to go back and watch it. Uh, we are live tonight uh, with uh, King Simon today. All right, so I'm going to move to and continue our countdown. We're going to go into the greatness of number three because I call it greatness because it's the number of creativity. Mm 
right. uh, in, in, in the tree of nature. In three dimensions, we move with the beginning, the middle, the end in our stories. Uh, and then, of course, we have the greatest of the past, the present, the future. You know, all of those, right. Uh, right. you know, everything uh, is going into this trifecta and all of this stuff. And uh, even, I don't know, the number three is just, it's just, of course, I'm boring in the month, the third month. <laughs> yes. So maybe that's part yes. of the deal. That's, that's, uh, part of, that's, connected. that's part of the deal. Uh, so let's get down into number three. And and also the number three in in astro numerology, which uh, you know, one of my teachers, Lloyd Strayhorn, has uh, definitely coined and 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 became popularized. That number three is also one of the numbers of expansion and growth on multiple levels, but the number three is also the number of creativity, popular confidence, and articulate musical. They love music. Anytime people born on the three, the 12, the 21st, or the 30th of the month, they love, they can get on that floor and know how to cut the path. They know how to cut a rug. Three is also uh, connected to Pisces and connected to Sagittarius in astronomy. You know, so when people understand that three is an entertainment number, you start looking at all the signs of Sagittarius and Pisces, you'll find that the entertainment number is the number three. They just got to be very careful of being overindulgent, self-indulgent, jealous and vain. They just got to be very careful of being uh, having anxiety because sometimes three suffer anxiety. Three and five suffer from anxiety because those are the two nerve numbers. So in, in, in the studies of numbers, when it comes to health, the threes always got to be careful and take time for themselves because they can burn the candle on two sides, you know, in mm. anything they do, whether it's party and eating or whatever they do, they can burn the candle on two sides, the number three. So they always got to be very mindful uh, and not let uh, to take make sure they take time for themselves. And remember, the number three is not only the number of expansion and growth. But also the number three is a fiercely independent number seeking total freedom. It's like a number five. Five and three are very similar numbers of this freedom energy. You know, freedom of movement. Threes must express themselves on a, um, must express themselves in some capacity. You can't try to stagnate and hold a three. They must communicate. And people born under three have to talk it out. So if you're dating a three and you don't want to talk because you you might be a number four and she might be a number three and fours like to be to themselves or you might be a number seven and they like to pin up and lock down. You can't be dating the number three. That can be problem because she wants to get it out or he wants to get it out. He wants to talk that thing out right now when you might need to retreat first, depending on how you're born or what number, what sign you're born. And three can take any challenge, uh, challenging situations and move quickly with it. Even if they're going through any bitter things and, you know, bitter places and, you know, and, and, and their ability to see the future in a positive way, they always have to be jovial and happy. They always have to maintain a jovial and happy spirit. Even when it's raining, don't call it rain and it's messing up your day. Call it liquid sunshine. That's what I used to do. That's what we used to do on radio, myself and my, my radio co-host. Him, he was born under Pisces. So he was the one that always used to say, it's liquid sunshine out there because the liquid is there to help grow the plant and expand the plant and the flowers and all the all the all, all the things that's on earth. So it's all right mm. to call it liquid sunshine. So three always have to have a jo jovial, happy attitude when they do things. Oh my God, yeah. It's got that humor. <laughs> a good sense of humor, yes. They have to they, they should listen to comedy when they're down. They should practice comedy. Um, you know, Eddie Murphy is born under the three. Um, T.K. Kirkling is born under three. The life path of Chris Rock is a number three. That you know, they, that that's where that three resonates high in that that energy of uh, of of comedy. And even uh, the late the late great Paul Mooney, although he's born August the fourth, four plus eight or eight plus four equals twelve, which is a three. So. Thus, he's doing comedy and enjoying. And also, Dick Gregory was born on the 12th. Also, uh, George Carlin was born on the 12th. Also, Bill Cosby was born on the 12th. They got to express themselves in multiple ways. But they also got to be careful of controversy. They got to be careful of 
but yeah, because Dick Gregory, not Dick Gregory, you know, Dick Gregory got into controversy because of his stand against the war and all Bill types Cosby. of stuff. Bill Cosby, uh, Mike Tyson is born under the three. Uh, T- uh, Tyrese is born under the three. I wonder if uh, Le- Daddy was born under three or something. Le- 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 LeBron James was born under three. Tiger Woods was born under three. That three goes into that. Go through their stuff. <laughs> Well, you know, I got I got an idea. I, I want to see if you can do this. And I'm not trying to put you on the spot, but uh, but I am. Whatever. <laughs> I need you to look at your schedule uh-huh. because you gave me a great idea for our next show. We're going to call it Date the Numbers. So we're going to go over the numbers, but we're going to talk about dating people mm-hmm. with those numbers. And, and, I, we got we to put that on the plan. So, interesting. This book has a lot of the relation, relationship numbers in this combination. This is my book called Numbers Are Simple, People Are Complicated. It's on my right, it's, on, it's on it's on Amazon. It's on through my link tree also. Numbers are simple. People, this is my first numerology book, and it and towards the end you start seeing the relationship and its combination. So yeah, we can get okay. into that. Let, let, yeah, so let's get into it. Let's put a show while we got we got down six hundred people in here. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. we we can figure out a date, and then we'll just touch on each little number of dating, and then make sure they get that book though to get the full story. Yeah, yeah, but, it, it, yeah. it's very good, and I, I always tell people to keep on applying and learning because. You can be a you could be a healer or a very happy go lucky person, but if the person is not willing to meet your happiness or meet your healing, then it won't work. That's why right. I personally stopped doing counter stop doing compatibility sessions because people people are not serious. They you know they one minute they get into relationship next minute, and especially the men. The men they they, they want to throw me three different names and three different birthdays to see which one they better for I'm, you know. And when I do my count, uh, uh, compatibility sessions. I need everybody on the phone so I can tell you about your bull crap well, and your we, positive we, stuff. <laughs> we got to do it. We got it. So y'all put in the chat right now. This is live. Yes. I want to see the number one, a thumbs up. Whoever want to see us do a date on the numbers. <laughs> well, that's what we're going to call it. Date on the numbers. Mm-hmm. And, and that means we want you to be like dead ball accurate with what you're doing. I want y'all to put in the chat right now and I let him know. He yeah. can see it too. But we need to let him know. We need to hear that. We we want to do that. So there yeah. we go. Look at ones. We got yes, them coming in right now. Come on, make it come. Make it rain, ones. Uh, it make was, it rain. I, it I need it to would know. definitely be beneficial. <clears throat> yeah. But I usually I usually send people to. <clears throat> All right, look, they're filling up. We already got 20 or 30 so far. Another look. They're just coming in. So we got a winner. We got 620 people in here, and they all are seeing. So I, I need you to do it. I need you to look in that calendar so they yeah, already yeah. know when we're coming back. Yeah, sometimes next month it could be due possible because I will be down in um, Florida. Okay. Uh, you know, for, you know, Billy and them thing. But I'll be down in Florida so I can do it from whenever I, wherever I am. I'll probably be staying at my nephew's house or something like that. So yeah, you would have an engagement party. Yeah, New Year's Eve. Yeah, yeah, I'm going there for the New Year's Eve. Yeah, uh, I'll, be, I'll, be know, there as well. I'll be there as well. Oh, yeah, so let's, let's hang out. Tell them let us use the room and we'll, we'll bring them into the new year. But date. The numbers is what it's yes, going to be. Yes, date the numbers. And 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 I, I want to explain to people, because you have a multiplicity of numbers, let me let me show you something on the board, if you don't mind. If you don't mind. Can I go on the board? Go ahead, man. This is, this is us. This is your, you, 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 the, you, the, you know, sugar, honey, iced tea. Let's go. <laughs> let's, just remember, like, like, let's deal with your birthday for sense. I know, hey, we didn't finish the number two and the one. And no, no, let's do it. We'll do my birthday after that. So, yeah, let's, and yeah, then let's, let's, do, let's, do, let's, 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 let's do the two and everything else before we go down. But before we yeah, go down that road, let's do the number two and all that. Let's finish it. Okay. Up. All right. So, we're going to go into the number two. Now, the number two is the number of plurality, right? Right. Exactly. Uh, and then we have binary options, and you're talking about the yin and yang, left and right. Uh, and then two, supposedly, give us the contrast between separations of things, right? Yeah, right. Um, and it's a great number because the power of two supposedly be that's some you and your mate, you and your 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 your, your significant other, the two, you know, one can conquer this, but two can do so much. That's we'll get that on the date, the numbers. But let's go into the number two. People born on the second, the eleventh, the twentieth, or the twenty ninth of the month are what we call the people that came to bring peace and balance and unity to the world. Michael Jackson was born under that number, the 29th, which equals 11, which is a two. Chadwick Bosman was born under the 29th, which equals, tomorrow's his birthday, 29th, which is a, equals a, a two. Oprah Winfrey was born under that 29 energy. Um, Cat Williams is born under the number two. Keanu Reeves is born under the number two. And um, Ayn Rand, the, the one who came up with objectivity, she was born under that number two. So they came to bring a certain balance, unity, 
and uh, to and merging realities because it's a duality number, like you said. It's one of those duality numbers that deals with two, because two carries an ancient wisdom and a sense of mysticism and secretive mm. and has a wonderful artistic gift. They're very good writers. They would be very good artists if they go down that road. Two people get along pretty much with anyone as long as you don't throw them off, as long as you don't disrespect. And people born under the number twos needs to be appreciated, whether they're getting two hugs or two kisses or acknowledged every day. So if you're dating a number two or people connected to that number two, you got to be very because they very they can be very emotional. They can be very excellent managers. And number twos are helpers. They're here to help. That is the companionship number. That is the number of companionship. And people born under the number two are also healers. Remember, every 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 even numbers are healing numbers at a different level. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate are all <laughs> healing numbers. You remember that all also? Know, right? Yeah, I remember yeah. that. Yes. And, and they also help numbers. So you could be going through health cycles in those numbers. So people that are connected to the number two should always drink water. Uh, especially good waters, take care of their stomach issues, be mindful of the stomach. Also, twos have a lot of psychic abilities. So if you mess around with a two, more than likely they're going to sense that you mess around. They'll sense the smell. They sense everything. They pick up on things. So you got to be very careful with a number two. I've dealt, I've dealt with a number two in the past. And believe me, because of my womanizing crazy club days. I know. The, the She-Wolf was a number two. She-Wolf is the ex-wife. I call her the She-Wolf. She was a she and a wolf. She was born <laughs> on the second. Boy, I'm about to tell you, boy, she had a sense of a dog. I'm telling you, a wolf. <laughs> yeah, they, they're powerful. Oh, my and, God. And, and, and due to their sensitive na nature, sometimes people can, uh, two people can be very secretive. But they yeah. are they are wonderful conversationalists and they can naturally get get others to reveal parts of themselves. Tools would do well as counselors, uh, life coach, uh, healers like Ma, uh, Dr. Sabi's wife was the one that really cooked up a lot of the herbs. I just had her on my show on King Simon Presents on my YouTube show. I just interviewed her, Dr. Sabi's first wife in the healing prospect. And she was born on the 29th, which equals 11, which is a two, very soft spoken. And they don't like to get into arguments. So they always got to be very careful in what they do and how they do things in, in, in presenting themselves. But they're very deeply spiritual. You know, Look, someone, someone in the chat said, I put it on the screen. She said, don't be telling the secrets of the number two. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, practice her, practicing her. Yeah, you know, you know what it is. Um, you know, even even if you're born connected to the two, the second month, like I'm born February. So even in, as a young child, I was very sensitive. My mother came on a radio show for my birthday, surprised me. And when the when the co-host asked her, you know, what type of child I was, because that month energy resonates at that particular time. She said, my mother said, oh, he was a very caring and loving child, very open and giving as a child and you then you get you know hurt over the years and then you become start locking in yourself and all that but yeah i was a, i'm very given i you know i'll promote people i'll do all people know that i come I, people that know me know that i'll promote your business sometimes i don't even ask for no money i just see a need for it to be promoted and i just set, share it on my live or sharing on my on my so two that two energy is all about sharing and giving but you always got a very the numbers twos and the number seven has to be careful with energy vampires Got to be very careful of energy vampires. And right. they got to be careful of becoming energy vampires because of their emotions. Now, I'm with you on that one. I'm, I'm telling Duality. You, Duality. I felt it 100%. All right, so we got <laughs> two numbers left. We got number one and then the zero. Then we're going to get into some angel numbers. Then I'll have them to break down my birthday. Um, all right, so, yeah, we'll do that real quick. So number one is the, the next number in our countdown. The number one is the number of unity and as individual digits unite for the form of greater sums one is supposedly be the seeding point to all the other numbers your other other anything right. that follows one is right. like the next level up you only go up by one right? Right, right so let's break that down the one there was an old song one is the loneliest number that you ever know. If, if no. one is, yeah, you remember that song? Yep, one is yep. a, because everybody wants to be number one. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Chaos One said he was number one. 
KRS One said he was number one, two, three, four, and five. But <laughs> but I won't say. But he's a good brother. But but the number one is the number of new beginnings, originality. Um, it's a vibration that deals with free will. And anybody born on the first, the tenth, the nineteenth, and the twenty eighth of the month always have to leave some type of legacy because they are confident leaders who want to leave a legacy. Like I want to, I'm born February 1st, the same day as Langston Hughes and Rick James. Uh, Harry Belafonte was born under the number one. Bernard mm -hmm. Spear was born under the number one. Uh, uh, of course, Denzel Washington is born on the 28th with adds up to a 10, which is a one. So mm -hmm. does um, uh, Stan Lee was born under the number 28, which adds up to a 10, which is a one. Uh, Bobby Hammett, Today is his birthday. He bought up to 10, which is a 1. 28 equals a 10, which is a 1. And also Barry Gordy's birthday is today. And also his business partner was born under number 1, Mr. Um, uh, Mr. Smokey Robinson, which he was born February 19th. They are leaders, natural leaders that come with different breakthroughs in life, always creating something, always moving something, always coming with the odd, unusual, trailblazing attitude, trailblazing mindset. That's what they do. That's what they're here to serve that greater power. But they they got to be very careful of not second guessing their powers and second guess because the challenge of number one people is good at starting, but sometimes difficult at completing projects. Mm. You're, born, you're born on the 10th. Good at starting, but sometimes difficult unless you are living in the fullness of your number 10 and your number one energy, which you're completing. That's why, you know, I love what you're doing and you've, you've kept up, you kept up with it. You're even willing to go to seminars to learn more about it. And that's what ones have to do since ones are the natural self uh, uh, self centric. They're here to learn. To be self sufficient and also self reliant and mm. they're. Their desires to be in love or to be loved by a partner. That's one of their desires. You know what I'm saying? Wow. But sometimes one have to be, have to learn empathy. Because sometimes they could be so much self-centered or in their own self. So they, they got to move from apathy to empathy. Yes, exactly. And sometimes okay. instead of being selfish, be self-fullness. Be in your self-fullness of yourself and attract the fullness of others to you. Mm. That's how that can work with number one. But number one is a very powerful lead number that come out of the zero because we're going to zero. All numbers come out of the zero. Well, all right, then. With that being said, <laughs> drum roll. So we're going to get to that zero, right? Yes. All right. So the next number is zero. Zero is the number of potential, wholeness, yes. symbolized by the egg. Zero holds the space for Genesis. And it also uh, contains all the numbers within its curve, mm -hmm. right? So you got an egg, you got a zero, and let's roll with zero, and then we'll get to them angel numbers. But let's go to zero. Number one represents unique power because it's a womb. It's a divine protective womb. So when you see people with numbers, zero, like born on the 10th, the 20th, or the 30th, from my perspective, I call them master number potentials because zero adds potential to any number that it follows. Mm. It also takes you to your origins of who you are and what all numbers came out of. And number zero or zero is the original source where there is this always will be only the light or total omnipotence. It represents the omnipotence, the zero point. Also, you got to remember that zero, even, even the word zero ends with the letter zero. But let me tell you something. Zero was applied by the Indians through the people from India for the accountant. They didn't discover the zero. It's called Sifra or Sunna. It's, it's, it has different names. They didn't discover the zero because in order for you to build any of these great temples, you had to find a zero point to know how to connect it with those Mm. Orion's belt and everything. So you had to know the zero point. So they know about, they call it the Fibonacci sequence and all that kind of stuff. But Fibonacci studied in Africa, studied amongst the Arabs, the, the black Arabs of that time. He got that sequence from there. Then they so claim zero's it. The, they zero's it the point of origin there. Because no matter what you're doing, you've got to have a point of origin, which will be zero. Right. And, okay. and the zero is a full circle. We've known the circle by looking at the sun and the moon for years. So we, it's the circle is really the zero. It's just that because of the change of name over time, when it went to India, they changed it into the name Sifra, or in the Arabic it called Sifra, 
and the Indians, they call it uh, su, 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 Sunaya, something like that. That's one of the words. But remember, the, when you look at the zero as an ultimate uh, um, experience, zero puts a divine spark into everything it touches. Zero holds a divine light because it represents the womb. The wound of woman represents that zero energy that all beings come through. That's what that womb represents. And it's, it's very important that many people understand why when zero shows up, always look for the extremities of good and bad. That's why people born on the 30th might go through extremities of good and bad. Mike Tyson. People born on the 10th th might go through the extremities of good and bad. Unless you put it in check, like like Daniel Danny Pina, the billionaire maker. That's why he liked to cuss, and he's a very extreme person. People born on the twentieth, like Rihanna. People born on the twentieth, like uh, like um, Spike Lee. People born on the twentieth, like like uh, 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 Cindy Portier, have an extremity of the need to show their love and show their. So anything that the zero follows adds extremity to it. So when I see the the twenties and the tens and the thirties show up. I always look at it as a master number potential. I don't just look at 22s and 10s, uh, 11s and 33s. I look at also the 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 when it shows up in anybody's chart because we have all these numbers. Some of us have the 99s or the 90s in mm. their chart when I do a breakdown. You know, so it's, it's, it's very, it, and, and, and like somebody said, yeah, it is a portal. It is a portal. It's, a, it's, a, it's what goes, what comes through, you can also go back through. You know, yeah, I mean, you're not going to be born again through somebody's womb, but <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, well, we do spend a lot of our lives trying to get back there, though. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, like Dr. Ben used to yeah, say, they'll get that later for the me. Dr. But, ben used to say that we always trying to get back to that womb, <laughs> we try to get back in that bad boy, uh, yeah, yeah, especially me. men, because Dr. Ben, <laughs> Dr. Ben used to say that heaven lies between the legs of women, and if women <laughs> yeah. understood their womb and their divine unique power through their wound and men understood their rod of God that's there to plant the seed, then you'd have more respect for the womb and the, the rod, the universe. And they will understand the whole overrules the pole. Exactly. The whole they overrules the pole. <laughs> and the, the, the whole is, a, is, is really a strong, it's a muscle. It's the, the, you know, the pole is the tendons, you know, but it's the muscle. That's the, that's the muscle. That's the strength. <laughs> All right, then. So, all right. So, uh, I'm going to play our commercial. We got to advertise our, our uh, thing here. We got over 650 people in now, so we're growing. Uh, and if you just got here with us, we just did the countdown from nine, seven, eight, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Now we're going to go over some angel numbers, right? Uh, but if you didn't go back and watch this video, because you can't miss any of those numbers, because a lot of them apply to all of us. And I know we don't have nobody born on the zero because it's the center point, I would right. assume. But either way, let's do this, and then we'll get into the angel numbers. Um, this is logged in on November 25th, 2023, Eastern Standard Time. Um, sensitive material has been breached, and it is now in front of the public this is very sensitive documentation and the world will be in total chaos if leaked and it is now leaked all of it not one document all of it place of exploitation forbidden knowledge television this must be stopped All right, so we're back with King Simon, and we're going over the numbers and the meanings within numbers. And someday in the future, just be on the lookout when you see us doing the next show called Date on the Numbers, right? We're going to go into that. And like you said, maybe we'll take you into the next year with that or whenever, but it'll be on this time. We'll do that. Uh, once again, the, there are links in the description to get to all of his socials. And then, of course, we're going to talk about something very special at the end so you guys can go to Amazon and check out that book. Uh, so we'll send you there as well to do some things. But in the meantime, we appreciate him being here. Again, I'm Roderick Martin, the host of uh, the High Strangeness YouTube channel, channel, formerly Why the Big Secret, because we talk about some high strange stuff there. So definitely 
go over there when you get an opportunity to subscribe to the channel. And yes. again, follow his stuff, get to his social medias, all of those things. Now, what we all been waiting for is the angel numbers. Because I know a lot of people right now, uh, you know, or just get to a point when they see the two, two, twos, the one, one, one. I mean, me, myself, without a shadow of a doubt, if you go into my screenshots, I probably got 11, 11 in here 260 times because I'll just, you know, oh, there. But I don't do it if I see it's 11, 10 and I'm waiting, anticipating for 11, 11. I just wait to I look over and I, oh, there it is, you know, Um and I did it so much because you think all the special stuff and I'll get people that will do some contributions, one, one, one. And y'all can do that if you want through the super chat or other ways we will do that tonight if you want. But again, it has these things. So I got about four numbers. I know we can't go to all of them. I got five mm -hmm. and some has some dual duality in between. And we'll discuss that. So I'm going to just stick them up on the screen. Um, and there's no mm -hmm. significant reason why I chose certain numbers. You all, he doesn't know. He's just going to go over it. And uh, but if it's something we want to add to the equation by somebody putting something in chat that they just have to have, we would do that. So let's get into uh, the angel numbers. And let me bring up the first one here, which is in sequence. Angel numbers. One, two, three. So what do we have on this? Well, you know, anytime you see angel numbers or what I dub as angle numbers. OK. Angel numbers or angle numbers are reminding you of what angle you're supposed to take in order for the angels to guide you. What angle you're supposed to take. So if I see one, two, three, one represents the creative aspect, two represents the compassionate aspect, and three represents the expansive aspect the need to expand. So that one, two, three represents different levels of what you need to do to accomplish certain goals. From my perspective, where well, you might go to an angel number book by Doreen Virtue and you go to her numbers, one, two, three, but because it's all perspective, Rod. It's all about perspective, people. Okay. When she says, her angel number says, simply your life, simple, simplify your life by letting go of anything extra, and unnecessary. Ask others, including heaven, to help you and delegate more often. So it's a good book, but it's a perspective. So that's right and exact from her perspective. But when you're dealing with the angles of this number, it's also determining what angle you might be taking. Because you might see one, two, one, two, three while you're doing criminal activities. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, because it's it's yo know, there's criminals that see these numbers but it's not always wherever there's an angel there's a demon there's duality so if one through three if he's not creative and constructive and willing to expand then it becomes the lesser of the energy which can be second guessing themselves um indecisive which can be also um unexpressive and then because it adds up to the six it deals with the balance, the need, the balance that you need to bring to the picture. Or if you're unbalanced, that could be a problem. People yeah. don't understand. When Michael Jackson did the song, the Jackson said, A, B, C, easy as one, two, three. It was a love song. It equates to the loving number of the number six. It was a love song. If you listen to the song, he was trying to get to this girl that he liked. It's a song that loves. So was he studying numbers? No. I don't think he was. He's too young yeah. at that time. But yeah, I'll just hear say that, yeah. How would you equate the one, two, three with a love song if it don't equate to the number six, which is the number, one of the numbers of love, balance, truth, justice, reciprocity, and healing? <laughs> you understand? Man, that's deep. It's, there's different, you know, there's different levels. There's different perspectives. That's why I don't call everything angel numbers. There's angles that you have to take because you might choose to go to high road or you might choose to go to low road. And with that being said, yeah. I deliberately wanted to see the angle of the reverse three, ah. two, one. Exactly. No, that, that's, okay. that's smart. If the yeah. three, that, that, that is smart because the lead number is the number that one should pay attention to. That's the lead number. The three is the lead number and the one, two, three, the one was the lead number. 
and everything okay. that follow that, that's what. So if three is the expressive number and also the need to expand and grow or being careful of gossip on the negative, if two is the number of compassion and consideration, but being careful of indecisiveness and negative thoughts, if one is the number of creativity and love, create I mean, creativity and ambition, but on the other end, uncreative, then you got to always look at it from multiple levels so you can get the true meaning because some people might see these numbers and ignore them. But mm. I'm sure that if you're seeing it over and over then, then it's trying to tell you something of that capacity and what you need to do and how you need to do. So books like this is good. Or you can Google up, you know, you can Google uh, angel numbers. And also this book by Anne-Marie Uber. This one is called Synchronicity Numbers. Mm. Very good book set. And I'm writing one myself. I'm in between writing one myself called the, the Numerovational Angles of Life. All right, then. All right. So I got three more. Yes, go ahead. This one in and this one may have some duality to it, but let's go with the two, 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 two. All four them twos. Them. And, yeah. And then I know you can go three two, four twos, or twenty-two. All of them, all of them have all of them have duality. And okay. think about that number two again. Two, two, two. There's different levels to each number two. The two, 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 two. So if you're gonna look at it from a holistic perspective. Because that two, four, six, eight, that eight is reminding you to be disciplined in what you do. Hmm. Discipline your thoughts because the two can be very emotional. Two, two, two can be a doorway to open emotions, open um, consideration, open, uh, uh, um, it can be a number of, of, of making connections between the physical and the spiritual realm. But in order for you to make those connections and not be scared or frightened by them, you have to have discipline because it adds up to the number eight, which is the number of what many people might call the infinity symbol of what goes around, comes around because eight is a karmic number. It is known as a okay. karmic number connected to Saturn. So again, and I'm looking at two number, sides. The number of infinity, right? Yeah, because it can be the number of symbols. But like I said, the infinity symbol is not the eight. It's not really the eight, but because people are now connecting it over the years, like the Alistair Crowleys and the Bovaskis right. and the and uh, Pascal Beverly Randolph, one of the first African America African American metaphysical teachers who started the whole thing here. That's who they got Doctor Strange after. If you look at Pascal Beverly Randolph's picture and look at Doctor Strange, you'll see the similarities. He's mm -hmm. born October the eighth. So the eight is the number of structure, discipline. And also the, the, the transference between the spiritual and the physical realm because of its infinite potential and also because of its, um, its spiritual order that you have to have and also physical order that you have to have. So all these numbers, twos is all spiritual, no doubt. But you got to also look at the 22 because that's the master builder, master constructor. So if you separate the two, now you got 22, 22. So that 22 can add up to a 44. If you add, now you're looking at it from another level. Now you see the dedicated 44, which is the dedicated worker, the dedicated um, constructor, the one who has to put dedication to their work because 22 plus 22, I'm telling people to look at it from a holistic perspective and don't just break it down to the eight. You always got to see all the angles and you get to see a bigger picture. And when 44 shows up, that's a whole nother thing when the 44 shows up because 44 is, is one of those numbers that you got to remember the four is one of the numbers of secret haters, secret enemies, the number four. So if you, you know what, it, it's, it's great you said that because I think there was a movie called the 4400. I thought for, I forget what it was some movie they had them in there. And within that, they had a lot of secret betrayal and haters of other people. It's like it was the theme of the movie. Okay, yeah. It was crazy. Um, it, it would be that. They yeah. study, the media, the media and the mu movie industry study all of this through Kabbalah, through, you know, through um, Gematria. Of course, they study all of this. All right. So angel number, ha, everybody wants this one. Then we got one after with us. 777 seven, seven, or the three sevens or one seven, but four sevens. You know, let's break down these sevens. One thing about that, those 777, seven, seven, you got to remember. 
777 always deal with the heightened, the heightened energy of spiritual connection. Paying attention to your intuition when you're seeing that and being willing to move with your gut feelings. The word seven, seven, the number 777 adds up to 28. 28 in numerology is the number of divorcing yourself, divorcing yourself mm. from negative situations, negative people. So when you see 777, which adds up to the number 28, that's a divorce number, according to the system. It could be divorcing in relationship and all that kind of stuff because you're seeing certain things in your relationship that you're that you're not you're not happy about. That's why when you see those numbers, look at everything from a spiritual and physical number, spiritual and physical perspective. And when you add seven plus seven, that equals 154. Interesting enough. It le leads to the number 10. Again, the wheel of fortune energy comes from those two numbers. So the one, the five, and the four, the creative, expansive, and structured number is also there. And it leads to the wheel of fortune. So if you stay on your creative tip, if you're willing to expand yourself or expand your brand or expand your mentality, and you're willing to find discipline and structure for whatever you do and however you do and be willing to build, then it will lead to whatever fortune that you want to do, whether it's spiritual or physical, because that number 10 is the wheel of fortune energy. Whoa. All right, then. I hope you guys are finding value in this. Make sure you smash the like button so this algorithm is going to show a lot of people this particular video and, you know, Definitely the ideal of the countdown so that we can make sure. And yes, yes, I know what's on your mind. I know what y'all are thinking because I did make sure I saved the 11 11 for last. Mm. Okay, one, one, ones. I know people are seeing this all the time. I see it all the time. Oh, I get people that cash out 11 11, you know, just the, the meaning of it uh, and where we're we going. And there we go. So, to give you guys an opportunity, if you, again, you found value uh, in what we're doing tonight, there you go. You can support the show. You can do what you want. There's a uh, cash out there. If you want to 11 11 yourselves, let's go. Show it. And, and uh, let me get this man something to drink or something. Let me send him a gift card or something. I don't know. But anyway, uh, I know you got some value from it. There's PayPal. There's uh, cash out. We do all that stuff. And we'll give you a shout out. But anyway, let's get to this number right here, one one one, eleven eleven, and everybody says they see it. We're now with the program, and I appreciate you. Well, remember when eleven eleven is seen, it's definitely a doorway and a vortex because eleven by itself is known as the spiritual teachers that come to bring gentle experiences to the world. The Prophet Muhammad, his name add up to the number eleven. The word Jesus, the name Jesus adds up to a number 11. So 11 is very significant for people in the prophetic mode and prophetic realm. And we know what Jesus went through and we know what Prophet Muhammad went through in right. their history because it can come with, it, it, although it's a vortex and a door of, of, of spiritual guidance and awareness, if you're not operating on the highest level of it, then it could also be warning you about deception. Mm. Being careful, be careful of who's trying to decept, deceive you, because 11 is a master number of intu intuition and 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 um, being able to see what other people don't see. So when you're seeing it, you're seeing something that other people don't see. But also remember, 11 plus 11 equals 22. So again, it leads to another number that's and it leads to a number number when you add the one all the way across. It leads to the foundation. It leads to the building aspect, but it also leads to the master number. And if you're going to go down the spiritual road of what the 11 entails, then you're going to have to construct yourself and architecturally build your inner, who, your inner self of who you are so you can be a global benefit to the world. So people born on the 11th 11 are supposed to do some great things because their alignment number adds up to a 22, which 11, 22, 33 are global numbers. But again, 11 is the number of insight, revealing, seeing things that other people don't see. And again, mm -hmm. it's a perspective. They're going to have other numerologists and other people have different perspective. But I like to see things from a holistic perspective. That's why I find the number four. That's why I find the number 22. Because if you see everything from a holistic perspective, then you get a bigger picture of guidance. 
That's how that 1111 works. It's a very profound number. Just like 1010 is a very profound number. 2020 is a profound number. You know, but 11 when the scene, because a lot of people didn't start recognizing the number 11 until the 90s, the mm. early 90s. A lot of people didn't start recognizing a lot of the 11 energy until, the, and that's why they try to dub it as new age. But this is really ancient age. It's not new age. It's ancient age. And that's what people got to respect. These are ancient patterns, cycles, and sequences that can be seen. But some people add their own extravagant stuff to it, which whatever works for you, like Brother Panic will say, whatever works for you, go do it. You know what I'm saying? If it works for you. But I like to keep it simple. So if you're seeing a double 11, that means you're doubling the power of the number 11. So it is the spiritual, insightful, deeply uh, inherited number that people that see that they have to be very mindful of deceivers and people around them. Pay attention keenly to your 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 gut feelings because it adds up to the number four and four in in a certain system of numerology is the number of secret haters and 11 okay. in compound numerology is the number of deception but and you said four is a mental health number too also right? a mental health number but it's also okay. a number that's a, also a number of secret haters also the number mm. of deception so you got to be careful of either deceiving others or being deceived duality everything has its duality Whew. All right. So we're up. We're about to come to a close here. And I hope you guys find some value. Appreciate uh, the contribution here from the young lady. Um, but anyway, 1111, you guys, I'm I'm visually 11 people sitting in 1111. And, and like I said, I'm going to get this man some coffee or something, y'all. But anyway, down there at the bottom is the cash app or the uh PayPal. The reason why I'm saying this is because if you got some value out of this tonight, this is a mini seminar, baby. It was a seminar. And to give you the skills of my man, I'm going to ask him to do a favor. He was about to already. My birthday is March 10th. Mm -hmm. And if you need the year, I'm sure there's some other people in here that's born on March 10th. Give us an overall what they will get if they contact you and they need to know the numbers. Nineteen seventy. You're born That's in the year 1970, correct? That, that it, right there. That's me. Okay, so when I look at a when I look at a numerical chart or a numerical scope, I pay attention to everything that's happening. I pay attention to all of it. So when I add three plus ten, when you add that three plus the ten, you got to remember that is what we call an alignment number. Okay. Or some may call it in cosmic numerology the achievement number. The 10 is a personal number, but th there's ways of doing it because some people will call it a pinnacle and there's a second pinnacle and the third pinnacle. But to, for, for time constraint and all that, I'm going to keep it simple. The 10 equals a one. And when you add it to that 1970, that equals 1983, which something significant could have happened also in 1983 for you also. Uh, according to that number, if you look back in time, you find out something. So, when you add that 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 1983, that adds up to 21. Now, in compound numerology, your life path is a 21, and then it's a number three. And when you see month on top of day, that's the old method of numerologists. They used to oh, yeah, that's how you used to read the numbers or break down the numbers by putting the month on top of the day on top of the year. Because you start getting more out of it when you do that. Because if, mm -hmm. if I do three plus one plus zero plus one plus seven, that's a more uh, plus nine plus seven. That's a more newer method of adding that people are now, the modern numerology has jumped on. But the older numerologist that goes back to 1800s and 1900s, and they use this way of adding because you get more information. But I use both of them so I mm -hmm. can get more information. So that might go if you if you if you if you read that when you when you read that number up there, it adds up to a number twenty one also. So twenty one shows up again. So it doesn't make any difference from that particular. But twenty one is called the crown of the Magi number, and it's a number that comes with advancement. But you have to go through some stuff to get to some stuff. In other words, twenty one is one of the, and I talk about it in my book. The number twenty one is one of those numbers that. You have to go through your initiation 
and your test of your determination because of that life path. So hmm. it's followed you throughout your life, but I don't say that the life path is the most important number. Every okay. one of them you could tap into. So if 13 is one of the power numbers, and that's a number of power and dominance, but also a number of mental health that it leads to, or creativity and also expansion, then I would look at that. If this number is the number 10, and that's the number of wheel of fortune or an extreme creative uh, uh, assertive energy because of the zero, then I look at that. And then I break it down to the number one, which is the trailblazing number. Then I might look at the year because the year is a significant thing. And that year adds up to 17, which equals an eight. So it tells me that you're supposed to leave a legacy with that year. That's a, a, a number that says you're supposed to leave a legacy. So as you're getting older, each one of them has a cycle. So the number three, which is called the development cycle from the time you was born, that's called the development cycle. Usually it lasts for 28 years. And then the number 10, that from 28, from, from zero to 28, then it's from 28 to 56, then it's from 56 on. So each one of the, the, the numbers that with the month, the day, and the year represents something. That's development, that's the power cycle, and that's what we call your, 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 your um, wisdom cycle. So as you're getting older, you need to show forth your wisdom by leaving a legacy, by being spiritual and being a deeper researcher because of the one, the one and the seven dynamic and the creative dynamic. So you got to look at things from a multiplicity, le multiplistic level so you can understand and get the big picture. But remember, I don't just do the birthdays. I do the names also. Roderick. Huh? Roderick. Yeah, but I'm not going that way. I'm just saying what I'm saying. I, I got a headache, as you know, I've, I've been suffering from something. And Look, you give, you give a mouse a cookie, you're going to want a glass of milk. You know, that's that. how that, yeah, that's how that happens. But we're not going down that road. But, uh, but that, that, the, the, <laughs> the, 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 the birthday deals with the lessons that you came to deal with in life. Yes. And the name deals with your gifts, your talents, and skills, and your expression, and your soul urge, and your inner you and the outer you. That's what the name deals with. So that's why people yeah. like James Brown, James Brown will say if you got a gift, you should never be broke. And some there of you, you need go. to find your gifts. You know oh what I'm saying? That, if you ain't said nothing, that that's probably the most powerful thing. Uh, and that is a lot of truths in that. And last but not least, I want all of you guys to thank Simon for being here tonight. Like I said, he wasn't feeling well, but he, you know, didn't count. So he said he's gonna be here. And I think he did an awesome job. Thank now you. he does have a book here. And yes. uh that's one of them. Tell us about this book. Of course, they can find it on Amazon. There right, is right. a link in the description so they can click right and get the book as well as go to all of your socials. But what are they going to find if they get this book? What, what are they going to get? That was the last book I wrote. I have actually four books. My first book was Numbers are, uh, No Promotion is Bad Promotion. Just spell my name right, which is a book about promotion. And I, I do equate it to certain numbers and what I went through in my life. But it, I was a very very successful promoter in New York for many years. I live okay. in Georgia now. My second book was Numbers Are Simple, People Are Complicated. They can go to my, my link tree also and go straight to that or go to Amazon. And these uh, and, and that was my second book. My third book was Numbers Are Simple, Children's Health is Important. This goes straight to the numbers and what health ailments can be attracted to you. Not from just not just for a child, but also adults. So I go from one to 30, I go from zero all the way to 31 in this book. And I also show you where you can get vaccine exemptions and all that kind of stuff if you have to go down that road. But this is called Numbers Are Simple, Children's Health is Important. And the book that you just showed, Numerovation for Mental Stability. This was a, a, a love letter to two of my friends that transitioned due to mental instability and they took their life. Sorry to hear that. Yeah. So I wrote the book. I, I you know their parent their family didn't want me to put their names in the book because they didn't want them to be a poster child for mental health. But I know what I had to do. And this book came out in 2020, which is one of the mental health numbers in my book. But it's a motivational book. That's why it says no motivation for mental stability, a numerovational guide to recognizing mental instability and staying motivated. All I give you the motivation and I give you the low frequency of the number. I give you the, the high frequency of the number. But I always want people to unpack any of the books that I read. Learn how to unpack it for yourself. It's not about me. It's really for you. This is a gift for the world that are people that are going through mental health issues. And there's a lot of that going on. I mean, Charlemagne is talking about mental health. Uh, Judge Toller is talking about mental health. Kerry Washington and all, all of them 
especially uh, to Judge Tola and Kerry Washington, all born connected to the mental health number. One is born on the 25th, one is born on the 31st, two plus five equals seven, and three plus one equals four, mental health. So I'm just, I'm not a therapist. There's gotta be a mis, I gotta get, put a disclaimer, but I, I'm good at recognizing patterns, cycles, and sequences of mental health. Even when I, you got, I got, I got Don Taylor, uh, not Don Taylor, I have, um, Don Cornelius in this book, what cycle he was in. I got Robin, Robin Williams, what cycle he was in. All of them was mental health numbers when they wow. started doing and taking their life. I got Lowell Hartthorn, who was a cousin of mine for who owned the franchise um, Golden Crust. That he took his, they said he took his life. But every one of them was in a certain cycle of mental health. I also talk about my grandmother being in a cycle of mental health, my grandfather having mental health numbers, my great grandfather who took his life at a certain age. So I, I study not only celebrities, but I study my family. I study myself. I study other things around me so I can, it, it, it becomes repeatable in my mind. Then it becomes measurable and then it's over, observable over time. And then now it's teachable. That's Man. where we're going. So that's, you know, and so this is, like I said, it's a love letter. This particular on health. Well, let, let's, get, let's get, Hey, it's time for y'all to fall in love <laughs> with yourself <laughs> and your with mind. Yourself. So make sure y'all get the book. The link is in the description. You can go right there and get it. Uh, and let's thank my man for being here with us, man. I mean, I, I, I have a digital applause here. I can. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you, you, you put it on tonight uh, pretty much. And uh, let's do it. So it's been a plum, pleasing pleasure as well as a privilege, my friend. <laughs> let's bring and, uh, yeah. <laughs> and so I will see you. Um, and I'll see you, of course, in a few weeks at the uh, New Year's Eve and the wedding party. So yeah, and also, you know, know when we want to do that, we could set that up. Yeah, that's it. Because it, it, yeah, it's in popular demand there. So all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and close it out. I mean, you can go all ahead right. and get and get some fluids into you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very all much. Right. All right. Take care, family. Be safe and be great. Remember, check me out on Four Bit of Knowledge TV Network. Yes. Uh, uh, how to calculate your numbers of destiny and all that. that. It's been a very popular series on Four Bit of Knowledge TV. Study it, but remember, apply it for yourself. Do not just because I'm saying anything. There's more angles to everything that you'll never get everything in one series or one book it's all about the continual study all right all right okay and y'all check out the gals on forbidden knowledge you got nina and nikki they do the mental strategist and they actually do a show it uh simon so y'all can definitely check this out and what i want to do too, let you know uh if you're interested in some stuff that's strange uh check this out i have a video on Roderick Martin, why strange this? We just did an interview with a lady who had sex with an alien, and she says she cheated on her husband. And really, you got to hear this story because we had a great time talking about it and everything. And you'll find the channel. Just do Roderick Martin, uh, high strangeness or why the big secret, whatever, and you'll find it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. But you want to check out this video? Just go to the live. Go back about a few days or last week or so. Listen to that. You'll get a kick. We had a humorous time. But to hear the entities in the stories, uh, you will not be disappointed in what you've heard there tonight. Make sure you hit the like button here. Make sure you do that uh, and post your comments for all of you that's listening on what you think, what your number was or what resonated with you the most. Put it in the comment. Make sure you hit this like button. we got six, 700 people in here, so we should have a bunch of likes uh, and everything else. And again, in the description of this video is King Simon's uh, link to Amazon where you can go get that book as well as his link to the link tree where you can go uh, and have access and, and maybe get some information and also get him to uh, talk about you and your numbers because it's worth knowing uh, where you are with that as well. And then once again, if you found value in what we're doing tonight, you can do this. Cause I, 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 I listen, that was a, that was a seminar. Okay. It was a true seminar and I definitely would love to send him a gift or card or buy him some coffee because he's not feeling well. And so I want to do that. But if, if you want to insist on that, there it is at the bottom, but enough of that. And you can super chat, but in the meantime, be well, make sure you understand your eyes are useless when your mind is blind. Uh, so it doesn't matter what you see. If your mind is not open to the possibilities of the information and what you're getting, it ain't going to make a damn thing about uh, the vision that you think you have. But open that mind again. 
Uh, your eyes are useless when the mind is blind. So I want to thank each and every one of you. I'm Roderick Martin. See you next week. Uh, we're going to be doing a video about people that's coming up missing in our national forest. And I'm going to tie it into possibly there's extraterrestrials or aliens, maybe the one that's taking some of these folks because the evidence is pretty weird. And so you want to definitely make sure you back to do this as well. And I'll give a shout out real quick to a couple of people in the chat. We got uh, Shalaman here. Samson Queen is here with us. Jay is here with us as well. Nicole, uh, one of our researchers, C. Grave, and everyone else. Good night. Love each and every one of you.